Yo guys, CodeLife here. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing off the best NVIDIA settings for Fortnite Season 5 that will, in my opinion, improve your FPS massively and also give you a pretty decent reduction in input delay. However, before we do get into that though guys, I want to quickly thank Novos.gg for partnering with me in today's video. Novos.gg is the premium Fortnite training platform that will help you guys out massively. It's the new all-in-one platform to practice all of the skills and techniques you guys want to improve on. To get started, just head over to Novos.gg, enter your email, your username, then follow their quick sign-up process, choose what skills that hold you back, the techniques you want to work on, and then your Fortnite time availability. After that, Novos will generate you a personalized weekly training plan that's fully customizable, giving you the freedom to rearrange routines with ease and add more if you like. As an example, if you're struggling with peace control, just add a peace control routine to your schedule and boom, you guys can work on it and improve. Sign up now using the link in the video description and get seven whole days free access to all of the content available from many top coaches like Aimer7 and start practicing like never before with Novos. Thanks again to Novos.gg for sponsoring today's video and now let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, so to start off, obviously in order to show you guys all of the best settings for the Nvidia control panel so that you guys can then copy them, firstly we've got to open the thing up, which to do so you want to simply right click on your desktop and select the Nvidia control panel. If you guys cannot see the Nvidia control panel, this means one of two things. You either don't have the latest NVIDIA drivers downloaded or you do not have it installed from the Microsoft Store. So to get it guys, be sure to either download the latest drivers from the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application or alternatively, you can head over to the Microsoft Store and simply just download it there. After that guys, you should now be able to open up the NVIDIA control panel again from simply right clicking on your desktop and then boom, once it loads up, it may take a good 10 seconds or slow because the program is super old and super outdated but once it has opened up guys you are all good to go to make the following changes in adjust image settings with previews you guys have two options here you can either do the fast and easy one by selecting the bottom option and moving that slider all the way to performance mode or you can do the other option guys which is the one that i recommend and that one is to select the use advanced 3d image settings if you select that one like i recommend you want to click on take a look and it'll obviously forward you over to the 3d image settings and in here guys in this bit you want to select on the program settings tab and you want to select fortnite from the uh, list right there now the reason for why we're just selecting fortnite here guys is because we only want to change the nvidia settings for Fortnite and Fortnite only. We don't want to change the Nvidia settings for any other applications or for your desktop. We just want it in Fortnite. Now you guys can choose it to be global, which will span all of these settings across all of your applications. However, in my experience, if you're using other applications like editing software, Photoshop software and stuff like that, honestly, you want to have the default Nvidia settings for that. And that's why we're making these changes to the Fortnite program and that's it. But yeah, honestly, it's optional, but I myself, I'm gonna just make these changes in Fortnite. But yeah, guys, once you have chosen Fortnite, you then wanna copy what I set up here in the settings themselves. You wanna make sure that image sharpening is set to off. You wanna make sure that anisotropic filtering is set to application controlled. Anti-aliasing FXAA should be off. Anti-aliasing gamma control should be on. Anti-aliasing mode should be set to application controlled. And anti-aliasing transparency should be off. For CUDA GPUs, that should be set to all. And for low latency guys, for this, I actually recommend you guys turn this on to ultra only if you've got a proper, and I mean proper beastly PC. If you have got a beast PC and you turn this setting onto ultra, you guys will get the lowest latency possible. However, if you guys do not have a proper beastly PC, and I'm talking like high-end equipment all throughout, if you guys don't have that and you're like me, what I recommend you all do is you turn this setting off completely. The reason for why this is, guys, is even though it does give you the lowest latency possible, it does have a downside, and that is a couple of FPS 
which is noticeable if you don't have a proper proper beastly PC. Like for me in my case guys it actually gives me a couple of stutters now and then. For the max frame rate this option should be off unless you've got a G-Sync monitor which if you guys do have a G-Sync monitor you should set your max FPS or frame rate to be 3 FPS under what your monitor's refresh rate is. So say if your monitor is 240Hz, you want to set that to 237FPS. For multi-frame sampled A, this wants to be off. OpenGL rendering GPU should be set to your specific GPU, so mine is the GTX 1080 Ti. Optimized for compute performance should be set to off. Power management mode should be set to the max performance setting. For shader cache, if you guys have got Fortnite on a hard disk drive, like if you've got it installed on that drive you guys should turn this setting to be off however if you guys are like me and you've either got fortnite battle royale installed on a ssd drive or an m.2 ssd drive you guys should turn this setting on in regards to the next texture settings these should be set to the following the first one should be set to on the second one should be set to allowed the third one should be set to quality. Yes, it should be set on quality, guys. Do not put it on the highest performance mode. I have tested this out, and my CPU got wrecked by this. I don't know if it's just on my end, but overall, guys, I think the safest bet is to just select quality. And then for the fourth one, you want to make sure that that is set to on. Thread optimization should be set to auto. Triple buffering wants to be off. Vsync should be set to off and virtual reality should be set to 1. Moving on guys, in the configure surround, you want to select your GPU. So in my case right here, I'm going to be selecting my GPU, which is the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. In the change resolution option, you want to make sure that 1920 by 1080 is selected, which is the highest resolution, unless you guys are using a custom stretched res in Fortnite. If you guys want to know more about stretched resolutions in Fortnite, be sure to check out this video on screen. Also, while you're in this like tab or section right here, guys, you want to make sure that your refresh rate is matching in here too. So for me, I'm using a 144Hz monitor and my refresh rate in here is 144Hz. In just desktop color settings, these are all personal preference. If you guys are going to change any or even test any of these settings out, the only one I recommend changing is probably the digital vibrance option. If you change this, guys, it'll make Fortnite much, much more vibrant than before and it'll probably help you spot enemies a lot easier. I know a bunch of pro players do mess around with this setting. However, for me, I don't really seem to touch it that often. In just desktop size and position, you want to make sure it's set to full screen and you want to make sure that the display option is selected also while you guys are in here if you look down a little bit you'll see the refresh rate make sure this refresh rate is matching your monitors one if you want to know more about refresh rates and monitors and all that stuff guys be sure to check out this video in the description of the vid and then finally guys we've got the video tabs in both of these separate tabs you want to make sure that the video settings that are being used are set to nvidia's settings just make sure the second option is selected for both of these different like tabs and yeah guys that's all you have to do in order to get the best nvidia settings for fortnite battle royale in season 5 i really do hope this helped out if it did feel free to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel already if you haven't as apparently 72.2 percent of you guys that watch me aren't subscribed so be sure to sub to the channel anyways thanks for watching guys peace